the KX News Storm Team. Okay, as nice as this weather has been, uh, it'd be really easy to be blindsided by Friday morning. So I want to make sure that you know what's on the way. Kind of a little to-do list for you. And at the top of the list Friday morning, as you're getting ready to go to work, is likely going to be scrape your windshield unless you park inside a garage. And it may, you know, take a minute or two. We are going to have a hard freeze Friday morning. You might need to scrape your windshield a little bit Thursday morning. But I think on Friday, especially if you're not parking in your garage, uh, you're likely going to need to do it. So if you need to find the scraper or whatever, so you're not using a charge card, uh, that, that might not be the worst thing uh, that you'll ever do. We're looking at uh, Minot right now. Beautiful afternoon, 71 degrees. Northwest wind at 7 in Bismarck. It's a nice afternoon as well. It's nice everywhere in Western North Dakota. I mean, it's 72 in Bismarck. Dew point only 49. Around Western North Dakota, 60s to even some low 70s. Uh, and so most of these temperatures are a few degrees above normal. Now, it's going to go way below normal for a couple of days, but then it'll pick back up, and I think the weekend looks to be pretty decent. As we check the wind speeds, roughly 5 to 10 miles an hour, and uh, for like the last weather uh, hit that we did, uh, there were some up here that said 13 miles an hour. I don't see that any longer, so must just been like a little gust moving through. And, but we do have a big change on the way. So the thing to really focus on right now would be where the color blue is because that's where the cold air is, the Arctic air, up in the Arctic, right? It goes all the way up to the North Pole. Now, it's early in the season, so it's not like we're going to, you know, you know have a deep freeze, but it is going to get colder. And so here we are tonight at 6 o'clock, that cold air is way far north. It is going to be moving south during the overnight hours. It won't get here because it's a long way away. And here we are uh, tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock still about central Saskatchewan and Manitoba, north half of that colder than the southern half. As this colder air moves through, the wind's probably going to be picking up, so count on that happening. But also, here we are tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. The colder air is getting closer. That's where the blue color is. That color up there is even colder air. And then as we get into uh, Thursday morning at 7 o'clock, notice this, like if there's one state in the country that has more cold air from Canada on uh, Thursday morning, it's North Dakota. And uh, you can see it right there. It's almost exclusively North Dakota. Uh, Thursday morning at 7 o'clock, colder air right there, colder air right there. Okay, so there by Thursday afternoon, it stays rather cool. It would not surprise me at all to have daytime temperatures on Thursday in the 40s for high temperatures. Plus, it'll be breezy, and if it's breezy and it's in the 40s, it's going to feel colder than that. I hate using the word wind chill this early, but kind of kind of is going to be happening. And then Thursday night, look at that even colder air moves in over the northern plains. This is where the coldest air is, kind of crossing the border there. But by Friday morning at 7 o'clock, that is going to be the coldest uh, day so far this season. Now, there is an upside to this, is while, yes, it's going to be cold, you're likely going to have to scrape the windshields, uh, that cold air is going to push off to the east, and for Saturday and Sunday, the temperatures should start coming back up a little bit. Next 72 hours for Dickinson, uh, a little bit breezy, hard freeze Friday morning, hard freeze Friday morning in Williston as well. So tonight, mid to upper 40s to around 50 degrees, and then temperatures tomorrow back into the 70s, Again, above normal, but it changes as we, uh, as, as we uh, look at these temperatures. So a couple of cold days, but it gets back to around average as early as the, uh, uh, as the weekend. So we've got a couple of cold days ahead of us, but the weekend looks nice. And Joel, this does look cool. It's the uh, Fort Abraham uh, Lincoln's uh, Haunted Fort. And I know you and I talked about it off the air last week. Friday night, they're doing something really cool. They're having kind of what they call a spookless night. And uh, that's where you can take the little kids because, you know, they're trying to scare the bejeebers out of you, right, Joel? <laughs> yeah, but they do. the little kids yep. don't want that. So Friday night is going to be a night where it's, you know, a lot less scary, but still all the other fun stuff. It is their big fundraiser of the year. Uh, but that, that is going to be a fun thing to do. Every year they try to outdo themselves. They get volunteers. They do costumes. They, uh, they get a little creative with a lot of the space in there. So they really do a nice job with it for sure. For the next four weekends, the families book their calendar and long lines out there, but it's, uh, it's quite the thrill. Yeah, it, it, that just looks like it's gonna be fun. It should be, all right. Thank you very much, Tom. And it looks like a nice weekend of weather for it.